One of our favorite parts of Thursday, Thursday's meal. Andy Joe with uh, Whole Foods Arbor Trails joins us this morning. Great to have you here, Andy. Great to be here, Amanda. You are making something that looks incredibly healthy to me. It is really healthy. We're making rainbow fajitas today. And we're using um, just some vegetables. So we have summer squash, zucchini, portobello mushrooms. Um, the great thing about this recipe is that you can use any vegetables that you like, as long as you get a little bit of color in there. And I went ahead and I cut them fajita style, is okay. what I like to say, because we're going to be putting them in lettuce wraps. So we're letting them get on the grill, and get grill marks on each side, and they have thicker strips. But you're welcome to make them however you would like. If you want them thinner, you can use a, uh, a mandolin. And while they're grilling, we're going to make a super simple marinade. And the, and the marinade is for the vegetables. Yeah, once they come off the grill really warm, we'll submerge them straight in the marinade. Well, and this seems to be kind of uh, the reverse of what we would do with, with meat, shrimp, or, or chicken. Marinade ahead of time. Right. You're welcome to do that. I'm focusing on a 10, 15 minute meal today. So if you just have okay. this in your house and you're walking in through the door, you can go ahead and just make Easy this enough. in minutes. Exactly. So this is tamari, which is just um, a wheat-based soy sauce. Uh, it's, I'm sorry, a gluten-free okay. soy sauce. Let me ask you, what do you have there? Is that water or yeah, rice just a vinegar? base of water. It's okay, going to cut water. the sodium. Exactly. So just put a little of this tamari in there. And then a little bit of cumin. Oh, I love that. See, that's one of my favorite I added, seasonings. I added in everything, too. And this just gives it a bit more of a, a body and a base to mm -hmm. it. And then we'll take a lime and go ahead and roll it so it right gets and for our, for our viewers if if you don't know that trick it's it's you get you get more juice out of exactly if you just give it a little right a little the, the other thing I've, I've learned over time is that uh, keep these at room temperature as you're getting ready exactly they're a little they're softer in the refrigerator, than yeah. yeah they're really tough to squeeze absolutely so that's the marinade it's as easy, easy as, as that. that and yeah and you can use it really virtually for anything so that's one of my favorite go-to marinades you can wow. put cracked pepper in it add anything else and then I'm just going to flip these over. We're getting just a bit of grill marks on each side. And I notice you don't have any, um, any sort of oils, whether they be grapeseed, canola, or olive oil. Yeah, any kind of optional? oil. Um, it's definitely optional. We're going for the maximum amount of nutrients in this dish. Okay. So oil, olive oil or any kind of oil has that extra fat to it, but virtually no nutrients. Oh. So we're using no oil today, and we're going to be getting our healthy fats from... Our Walnuts. chopped pecans, actually. Chopped pecans. Yeah, and then we're going to be using butter leaf lettuce mm -hmm. as the base to our wrap. Um, it's really soft and has a mild buttery texture. And it's I like got a little it. bit of that crunch without being uh, the romaine that sometimes we consider to be just water. Exactly. Well, and romaine does have a good amount of calcium, but if you want to go for a more nutrient dense. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Leaf, you can go for dark leafy greens. So kale, chard, uh, collard greens. Let me ask you a quick question here sure. in regards to the butter lettuce. Uh, a lot of us do our meal preps, our menu preps over the weekend. If say I do my grocery shopping Saturday mm -hmm. or Sunday, how long is this going to last in the and fridge? And what's your recommendation to store it properly? Um, I would definitely put it in a drawer and let it just uh, sit in the refrigerator. Keep for it in its container because yeah, a lot of time these are the ones that have that, that live root. The root's at the bottom. Yeah, absolutely. So leave it in that container until you're ready to, to, use uh, it. to use it. Yeah, and it would last probably about five to seven days. So a quick grill. We're going to submerge it right in our marinade. And this is a really great dish for singles, for your family. Um, and for, for, uh, for Meatless Mondays. For Meatless Monday. I love and, that. and for kids. Kids love this. And speaking of kids, yes. We have a community giving day coming up in the store on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. And we're going to be donating to 5% of all store sales to um, Marathon Kids. Right, from Dell Children's Hospital. Exactly. We've talked about that a lot here on the show. It's a great thing. About 10 seconds left uh, as Andy hey. uh, rolls it together. Just re remind our viewers, this is at all Whole Foods locations. All Whole Foods in Austin. Yeah, 5% Tuesday. Tuesday, March 3rd on 5% of our store sales go. Yeah, it's as back easy to, as that. Back to Marathon Kids, And, and that looks absolutely beautiful. I would add a little bit of cheese, because. You're welcome to. That, and avocado, because that's just the kind of uh, We're just getting all the vegetables I in know. that we can. This is a great idea. Yeah, Andy with Arbor Trails Whole Foods. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here.